Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Richard and I am the Bull Rider. Today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know about the fluids that go in the E-Gear hydraulic actuators and the Graziano six-speed manual transaxle that came on all years of the Lamborghini Gallardo. And if you have a manual Gallardo, stick around. There might be some things that you might not know about your car and I want you to be informed as well. And there's lots of confusion about this topic. Where should the E-Gear fluid go? How often should I change it out? Where does the differential fluid go? Is the eager fluid exactly the same as the differential fluid or the transmission fluid? By the end of this video, you'll have a much better understanding of the fluids that go into your car, even if you take it to an independent shop. So let's hop into the engine bay of my Gallardo Superleggera and I'll show you exactly what you need to know. But stick around for the end and I'm gonna make fluid recommendations for you so you can have a lot better clarity when it comes to the fluids that you should put in your car. So here we are in the engine bay of the Gallardo Superleggera. I have the air box removed, it usually sits in this area. And if you have a base Gallardo, you're gonna have another trim piece that covers this whole entire area. In the right of the engine bay, right next to the coolant reservoir, you're gonna find your eager hydraulic reservoir. And down in here, you're gonna find your eager hydraulic actuators and the pump. And these hydraulic solenoids in this pump provide line pressure to a set of lines that runs underneath this cross member under here, in through this heat shielding, and then onto your transmission. And this is the Graziano six-speed manual transmission. So the two systems are completely independent in terms of fluid. What you can do is you can actually unbolt this whole entire actuator and remove it from the car, and there's no sort of fluid coupling whatsoever um, when it comes to the actuators that actually shift your car. So if you have a manual transmission, you're gonna have a set of two shift cables coming to this area and a set of actuators that actuate the transmission. That inherently is the only difference between a manual and an automatic. The e-gear system also electrohydraulically actuates the clutch slave cylinder. So if you think in a manual car, when you push down your clutch, you're actuating a master cylinder right behind your clutch pedal, and then that actuates a slave cylinder that then pushes in your clutch forks and disengages the transmission from the motor. So in this case, it actually does it hydraulically and it's controlled by a computer. So other than the slave cylinder to actuate your clutch, the eager fluid and the transmission fluid are completely separate systems. You might say, well, I have a manual car and you just said that the eager system actuates the clutch. What does it do on my car? And in reality, this is actually very interesting because in a manual car, you actually use the brake fluid reservoir. So the reservoir that is used for the brakes also is used for the clutch. So an eager car uses the same brake fluid reservoir as a manual car, but you'll notice if you look close enough, you'll see that one of the little ports is pinched off. So if you have a manual car, that's your feed line going to your clutch pedal. So if you wanna bleed your clutch on your manual Gallardo, be sure to fill up that reservoir first before you drain it. I do not want that to happen to you. And this transmission is very interesting. It's colloquially known as a transaxle, meaning that there's the transmission in it and there's also the axle. So long story short, you have a six speed manual transmission. And then in this housing right behind here, you have a differential. And in this case, it's a limited slip differential. Believe it or not, the Lamborghini Gallardo is actually all wheel drive. So they do that by moving the motor to the left just a little bit and this allows for a shaft to actually run all the way to the front of the motor to a front drive shaft that goes to the front differential. Interesting enough. So this is a pretty complicated transmission as it sounds, but honestly, it's inherently the same as what you would find in just a normal six speed manual that you'd find in an Audi or anything like that. Just a little bit of a different design. So since this is a transaxle, when you drain the fluid for the transmission, you're also draining the fluid for the differential and vice versa. So the two share a common sump and they both use the same oil. And when we change out the fluid in this in a future video, I'm gonna show you how they both use the same oil level indication port. So now that we know that the e-gear system is a separate system from the transmission and differential and that the transmission and differential share a common sump and use the same oil, we can now talk about what kind of oil I recommend for your car. And for an e-gear system, I recommend using Tutela CS Speed. And this is primarily a automatic transmission fluid, and it is strictly 75 weight. 
So as it heats up, it doesn't change its viscosity properties. And since the electrohydraulic actuators in the eager mechanism rely primarily off of fluid pressure and viscosity to operate properly, a strictly 75 weight oil is ideal for this. And that's why I strictly recommend this oil for this application. So the eager oil is a lifetime fill. So you're never gonna to wanna to replace that unless you're doing service to the eager mechanisms or you're bleeding the clutch after a clutch replacement. Other than that, just top it off. And oil recommendation for the gearbox is a little bit confusing because if you look in your manual for an older Gallardo, you'll find that there's actually a typo in your manual calling out for a 75W50 weight oil. And to be honest with you, that doesn't even exist. So originally from the factory, the Gallardo transaxle came with a 70W75 weight gear oil. And this is what I'm gonna recommend primarily for street driving. And the part number for this is G052171 Alpha 2. And I'm gonna link everything that I talk about in the description below for you as well. And this is the fluid that I'm gonna be putting in my Gallardo Supraleggera when I show you how to change out the differential and transmission fluid in your car. My other recommendation is a 75W90 weight oil. Primarily, I recommend Redline MT90. And I can only really recommend it if you use your car for a lot of spirited driving or track driving primarily. And if I went on the track a lot with this car, I would definitely use Redline MT90. And I'm not trying to steer you towards any sort of brand. Any GL4 rated um, 75W90 is gonna be my recommendation for you for any sort of spirited or track driving. It doesn't have to be Redline. So I recommend changing out the differential fluid and the transmission fluid every 10,000 miles. Uh, the service manual calls for every 30,000 miles, but you'll notice that with extended service intervals like that, that the transmission, especially when turning, becomes a lot more clunky. And if you want to get rid of that clunkiness, I really recommend you just change the transmission fluid and differential fluid more often. And if this video has helped you decide what kind of fluid that you want to use on your car and it's clarified a lot of things for you, please consider giving it a like. That helps me know that I'm providing good content to you. And until next time, thanks.